Muslims we talk to say they do still feel safe in Fort Wayne. They are concerned, though, for the country as a whole. And News Channel 15's Sarah Schaefer has been working on this story all day long. Mm -hmm. I talked with the director of the Universal Education Foundation. That's a group that teaches about Islam. Its leader is a Muslim immigrant from Pakistan. A successful surgeon in Fort Wayne, he says many are running the risk of missing out on the American dream he's living. No law! Three days after a ban on refugees, Gohar Salam shared his memories with me of when he dreamt of moving to America. I would look at these airplanes that would come towards West, and I would just really wish in my heart that one day I could board one of those planes and get to the United States. He calls himself a proud American and immigrant from Pakistan. As the president of the Universal Education Foundation of Fort Wayne, he spends countless hours educating people on the principles of Islam. So our jobs are to make sure that they are good American Muslims, they know the values of this country, they know the values of Islam. Salam thinks the way the refugee ban was done is also wrong, leaving those qualified to come here stranded. These are the people who have gone through the proper vetting process, uh, some of the hardest vetting process that you can imagine. A retinal surgeon who served 10 years in the United States Army, Salam says he is living his American dream. He thinks many will lose theirs due to the ban. Although he says the Muslim community in Fort Wayne feels safe and supported, it is time to come together and speak up. No matter what our background is, what our faith is, what our political uh, standing is, this is the time where uh, we respect our president very much, but if he's saying something which is un-American, which is possibly unconstitutional, it is our responsibility to stand up and hopefully guide him in the right direction. There are people here who are directly impacted by the ban, with loved ones not being able to move here. Sudanese and Syrian immigrants holding on to the idea they can be with their families in America. I hope to share their stories tomorrow or later this week. Okay, thank you, Sarah.